We, we definitely saw some examples of that. Uh, the first match was Adam Rose uh, pinned Camacho in five minutes and eight seconds. Um, Adam Rose was somebody, it's something we'll probably talk about a couple times this episode, where you guys, or I guess you weren't in creative, but the people in creative were trying on different things for different people. Adam Rose, yes. I thought, was fantastic as Leo Kruger. Somebody made a decision. Leo Kruger's not the way we want to go. We want to go with this uh, um, Russell Brand type character in Adam Rose. Uh, did your job change at all as a trainer when you're training someone right. who does a shift, like say to Adam Rose or the Ascension who were created to become world beaters or Tyler Breeze who, who becomes Tyler Breeze? How does your job as a trainer change when so, their character changes? I need to clear this up straight away. I was never a trainer at NXT. I used to jump in on training sessions and from the very beginning, Triple H said to me, you know, he, he knows me and <laughs> I'm going to help anybody. Right. But he said, you know, you get, you have a lot of duties and a lot of things that you've got to take care of. Let people earn their spot before you start helping them. I didn't, I, I, I'm going to have to admit this age. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I did <laughs> used to help everybody, but I, I did try to keep to that. So there was a whole incredible crew of people that were all involved in that and trainers and they all know who they are and, uh, and, 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 and dusty and, 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 and everybody involved that, that the Leo Kruger thing worked for a while there was the change and i i was always having i i, I had a, a a good relationship with um adam rose as far as working relationship i, I didn't know him outside of this this i didn't know anybody outside of this again when i come home I, i'm i leave all that there but we used to chat a lot when he started doing that, I remember him trying that. I, I, I was at certain promo classes that that he started to do that and going, wow, that's that that's brave and that's going to either work or it's not. And he made it work. And just watching the sheer joy that that brought to everybody involved um, was a great thing. And it caught on. Uh, so at the time, if he'd have asked me anything, I would have, and we, we did have chats because it, there was people knew if they wanted to do, if, whether it would had all kinds of things that I can help with, if it's wrestling or serious wrestling or learning how to be a, a, a good villain or, but they also, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I'm the person they can definitely go to and say, I'm thinking of doing some kind of entertaining thing. Well, I, you know, I, I never shied away from that. Right. And I just give it, a, give it a go and let, let go on your instincts. And so I, I, I know I, I had, we had conversations. I, I can't remember exactly what, but it was just, it was conversations about how to just go out there and, and give it your best. And, 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 and there would have been little things and, and maybe, you know, what obviously asking him what what what's you what what's your idea of maybe try this maybe try that but there's not just me doing that there's everybody there is doing that so there's i can't take every anything that that happened there with the exception if i say that it was a scouting thing or putting together certain tournaments everybody there was helping with everything so the whole pit the whole crew of the NXT staff were all there helping in one way or another. You would have to ask this, each individual talent what they got out of us. For me to sit here and claim that I did anything, I might have said something that might have changed the way he did things, but I might not have done as well. You know, I, I could sit here, there'd be a lot of, is this where this starts getting a bit, wonky isn't it because you get a lot of these old wrestlers in the oh, oh i did this for him and i did that and i don't think i did anything for anybody i just 
they ask me and I talk and whether they take it on board or not, you know, if they say later on, oh, Darren or William Regal helped me, then that's the first I know about it because there are, there are certain things that I know I help people with. When it comes to character stuff, yeah, people come to me and I'll give them, I'll sit and bore them to death all day long about character stuff or I won't bore them and they'll, they'll sit and listen and take it on board. But then you've got other people involved as well, right? You've got all kinds of incredible minds sort of helping along. So if you're asking me that, unless I know it's a definite thing that I, I, I did for somebody, I can't take any credit for it, but we all helped and we all like nurtured him to, to, to do that character. Uh, and, and I, I can't remember anybody, um, that, that was against him doing that. Well, um, it, it was, it, it, it was, it, and I would, I would, I wouldn't say if the, I wouldn't say the name, but I would say there was people that were, were not in, in, you know, interested in him doing that. I, I think I, I, I remember everybody was, yeah, they, they, we're all on board. You go out and do your thing. And so it ended up being, you know, it was a short, it wasn't probably for him. If you ask him, and that was a big part of his life to, when I'm looking at it, oh, that was a, that had a, a short run and it was great. And there's a, there's a lot of things in NXT that were, cause we, again, we, we, such a short period of time. It's a few years, but if you ask them, it that was a big chunk of their life. To me, it's just somebody that's it's another person that I, was in my life for a, a few years and then wasn't, and and then never had any contact since. So, with um, with Adam Rose, he was Leo Kruger. Then he's Adam Rose. Um, yeah, uh, we've seen you. Uh, We've seen footage of you kind of giving input to people and, you know, really giving them good advice, especially in the promo and the character department uh, in, in some circumstances. Did you have a preference personally? Did you think one was not, not you know, more capable of drawing money or whatever, but did you think one was more genuine to him that he pulled off better than the other? I thought he did both very well. Um the Adam Rose character was the one that got people excited the most. Absolutely. If you ask him, he may have been far happier doing the more serious. It's depending what you are as a person, what your goals are in this job. He might have, I, I don't know. Cause I, I haven't asked him and you know, I haven't seen or spoken to him for ever since he left NXT. So he might have, Everybody sets out with a, a thing, right? Let me keep me on track here. And it starts off with this match with Adam Rose. Adam Rose, whatever he started out to be, because he was a wrestler, obviously a wrestler from South Africa, he, he might have probably wanted to be a, a tough guy. But what I didn't know about him was he had a sense of humor and he didn't take himself too seriously, which you'll find is a, a trait with a lot of us uh, British people or people from different countries. Um, sometimes if you live, if you certainly went our age, my age group, and I know he was, he's older, you either laughed and, and got through it and, and didn't take yourself too seriously or you didn't get through it. Um, cause we grew up in, in different circumstances and whatever else. Um, so, and you find that in America and people that are, are, are working class people that they, they laugh at a lot more and they're not, well, I, I know he wasn't a, born into a, a, a wealthy family. You've just got to sort of have to not take yourself too seriously to get through life. Um, so he would have been somebody who obviously it wouldn't have worked. That's another thing. When you do it, you've heard me say these things are just make anything work. That Adam Rose character wouldn't have worked if he hadn't have given it everything he had. And I remember seeing him doing some of these 
things before he became Adam Rose and going, oh, he, he's, 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 he's happy doing this. But you'd have to ask him whether he, he would have rather been some kind of a, a, a tough guy. Because a lot of people in this job want to be tough guys um, and they act like tough guys. And you ask them to do anything that isn't where they're, they're acting like a tough guy and they won't do it and they can't do it because they're always acting like a tough guy. I, I don't feel the need to do that. That's why it worked for me. I pretty much can see that the way he did his thing, that he didn't care about it either. Um, but I'm sure he would have, might want to have been Leo Kruger and, and been a, a, a um, mercenary South African or whatever he was playing at the time. No, it was a long question, but there's a lot of things that go into this. Absolutely. These things are, are, are things that people, you hear all these stories or you hear, that's why I stay out of that world so much. Cause I, it, it, it comes back to me anyway. And I'm going, if people only had a real clue, what, what goes on, you're right. Right. We just, there's not that many people of the, the, the people that were, we, we, we got to NXT were the people that could get through the legal system, the medical system. And the ones, as far as wrestlers who had gone out there and hustled and, and, and done whatever they had to do to get a name for themselves in whatever country they came from. So, because that will lead on to that there's other people on this uh, show that sure. have done that. 